بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين As mentioned in the introduction video of this series, this Qur'an reflection series tries to help you build a connection with the Qur'an through both understanding and memorization. So this is the first quarter of the second juz of the Qur'an. So that's juz to hizb three, and that's quarter nine of the Qur'an. And it starts with the ayah that says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم سيقول السفهاء من الناس ما ولاهم عن قبلتهم التي كانوا عليها. Okay, so let's look at the pages of this quarter. So the first page is four ayahs, four verses. The second page is eight ayahs, and then we have this uh, one third of the, of this third page here, and that is four ayahs here. So here, those four ayahs are longer ayahs, and those four ayahs are shorter. So uh, important things to notice here um, is that if you look here in, in the middle of this ayah here, you will see this ayah, it, start, it has فَوَلِّ وَجْهَكَ شَطُرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ And this is closely related to this ayah, th these two ayahs here that have the same words. فَوَلِّ وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ فَوَلِّ وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ So that part, the, this sentence here, is repeated three times in this quarter. And those two here are identical. So that's the same beginning here of these two ayahs. And um, you can see that these two are related to this ayah here. Okay, so as you're memorizing, you will see that you have the words الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ here. And this connects you to the next ayah that starts with الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ. And you also can see that this page starts with الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَهُمُ الْكِتَابِ. And then you have the word الحق here, لا يكتمون الحق وهم يعلمون. And so the next ayah starts with الحق. And those are just clues to help you while you're memorizing this quarter. Okay, so let's start uh, with the reflection and the translation. So uh, the first A here says, the foolish among the people will say, what has turned them away from their qibla, which they used to face? Say, to Allah belongs the east and the west. He guides whom he wills to a straight path. So let's look at the uh, words here. So sayaqul means they will say from qawla, as-sufaha from safiha. And we went, went over this word before in um, the beginning of this uh, of this surah. And that means the foolish. Min nas that's people. Ma wallahum, that's from waliya, means to turn away. Um, an, so turn away. So waliya an means to turn away. Because waliya can also mean uh, the opposite of uh, t uh, just wali on, on its own is different from wali tawalla an means to um, turn away qiblatihim that's the qibla that's the direction of uh, that muslims faced uh, when they're praying from qad from qabla uh, and means front so it means like the direction lati kanu alayha that they um, used to face qul say lillahi al-mashriq from sharqa that's where the sun rises, uh, so that's the east, and Maghrib from Gharaba, that's where the sun sets, um, so that's the west. Yahdi from Hadaya, to guide, man yasha, whom he wills, from um, from Sha'a or Shay'a, ila siratin, so that's the straight path, mustaqim, from Qayama means straight. So this topic of Qibla direction is very important. During the Prophet Wasallam's 13 years in Mecca and until the first 16 to 17 months of his time in Medina, Muslims prayed facing the direction of Bayt al-Maqdis in Jerusalem. That was their Qibla direction, which is also the same Qibla as the people of the book. Then the Prophet ﷺ was instructed that the Qibla, qibla is to be changed and that Muslims should pray facing the Kaaba. When that happened, there was an uproar, and there was so much criticism from the people of the book and from the polytheists. This topic is so important, and so you can see how many ayahs are dedicated to this, 
and you will also see some unique words in this quarter that match the emphasis that Allah is giving this topic. The Quran says that these people who are making all that criticism, they are missing the point. The virtue is not the East or the West, it is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following His commands. The main thing in worship is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is to comply with His commands. And thus, we have made you a median, that is, just community, that you will be witnesses over the people and the messenger will be a witness over you. And we did not make the qibla which you used to face, except that we might make evident who would follow the messenger from who would turn back on his heels. And indeed, it is difficult except for those whom Allah has guided. And never would Allah have caused you to lose your faith, that is, your previous prayers. Indeed, Allah is to the people kind and merciful. So the reason for this change in Qibla direction is that this is a test from Allah for the believers. This also applies to changes in circumstances in our own lives, from health to th sickness, from ease to difficulty, or from having time to being occupied. These are all tests from Allah, and this whole life is a tribulation, it's a test. One thing that should not change with these changes in circumstances is our sincerity to and our obedience to Allah. The companions were assured that their previous prayers and the prayers of the Muslims who died before the change of Qibla will not be lost. Because they had done that in obedience to Allah. So what matters is not the east or the west or the direction of the Qibla. What matters is obedience to Allah. Okay, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ from جَعَلَ We made you Ummah, that's the nation وَسَطٌ So that means median from وَسَطَ uh, It also means just لِتَكُونُ So that you may be شُهَدَاء from شَهِدَ That's witness عَلَى النَّاسِ Over the people وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ That's from رَسَلَ That's a messenger عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِدًا Again from شَهَدَ That's a witness وَمَا جَعَلْنَا And we have not, so ma is, is not, and جَعَلْنَا to make from جَعَلَ الْقِبْلَةِ الْقِبْلَةِ that's the uh, Qibla direction الَّتِي كُنْتَ عَلَيْهَا that you face, that you used to face إِلَّا لِنَعْلَمَ from عَلِمَ means to know so what this here means, so Allah knows everything so it's not that, so that Allah would know it means that would, Allah would make it evident and that people would, would, it would be evident for people, that people can actually see that those people have obeyed and those people have disobeyed. مَنْ يَتَّبِعُ from tabi'a means to uh, follow. الرسول, that's the messenger from Rasala. مِنْ مَنْ يَنْقَلِبُ from قَلَبَ that's from, means to turn. يَنْقَلِبُ عَلَىٰ عَقِبَيْهِ it means to turn back on his heels. That's from عَقَبَ means heels. وَإِنْ كَانَتْ لَكَبِيرَ So it means it's, um, uh, it is difficult. So from kabara means big. But so it really here means like a big thing or a difficult thing. إِلَّا عَلَى الْإِكْسَبْتِ إِلَّا الْإِكْسَبْتِ For those who Allah has guided from هَدَى From هَدِيَة Means to guide. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ From ضَيْعَ Means to waste or to cause to, have, uh, to lose. So Allah will never cause you to lose your faith, imanakum, from amina. Uh, and here uh, Allah describes the prayer as faith. So it just tells you how important prayer is. Inna Allah bin nasi, Allah is two people, la ra'ufun, from ra'afa, is kind, and rahim, from rahima, means merciful. We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad toward the heaven, and we will surely turn you to a qibla with which you will be pleased. So turn your face, that is yourself, toward al-masjid al-haram. And wherever you believers are, turn your faces, that is yourselves, toward it in prayer. Indeed, those who have been given the, strict, the scripture, that is the Jews and Christians, will know that it is the truth from their Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what they do. Nara means to see. So, we have seen. 
um, from ra'aya, taqalluba, that's from qalaba, so that's the turning. So here, remember, yanqalib means to turn, and taqallub is also from the same word root. Wajahika, that's your face, from wajaha. Fisama, in the heaven. Falanwaliyannaka, from waliya. So here, you see, falanwaliyannaka, that's waliya without an. So here, when we said, wallahum an means to turn away. But فَلَنْ وَلْيَنَّكَ قِبْلَةً So it means to turn two words without, without the word عَن قِبْلَةً تَرْضَاهَ From رَضِيَ You will be pleased with فَوَلِّي Means That's from وَلَيَ Again, so to face or to turn two words وَجْهَكَ Your face شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِدْ Towards the Masjid Al-Haram That's the Kaaba وَحَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُمْ Wherever you are فَوَلُّوا from walaya, wujuhakum, your faces towards it. Wa inna alladhina utu, those who were given from ataya, al kitab, that's scripture from kataba, la ya'lamuna, from alima, they know, annahu al haqq, that's from haqqa, the truth, mir rabbihim, from their lord, wa ma allahu bi ghafilin, so ghafil means unaware, from ghafala. So Allah is not unaware of what they do. Ya'malun from amila, that's what they do. And you will see that وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ has been repeated, uh, عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ أَنْ يَعْمَلُونَ has been repeated five times in Surah Al-Baqarah. So this is the only one that has يَعْمَلُونَ. So because this is talking about the people of the scripture, so it's يَعْمَلُونَ, this is the only one. And the fifth one, and this is the fourth time out of five, the fifth one is in the next page, inshallah. So that will be all five that exist in Surah Al-Baqarah. And if you brought to those who were given the scripture every sign, they would not follow your qibla. Nor will you be a follower of their qibla, nor would they be followers of one another's qibla. So if you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge, Indeed, you would then be among the wrongdoers. So as previous ayahs in the first just explained, these people recognized the Prophet ﷺ because he was described in their scripture, but they concealed their knowledge and refused to follow him out of arrogance and racism and their desire for him to be Jew or non-Arab. So the lesson is just know that you need to focus on doing what's right and not on seeking everyone's approval and trying to convince all people. You won't follow their qibla, they won't follow yours. So just do what's right and forget about pleasing people. in ataita, so if you, that's if, ataita means from ataya, same as utu, same word root, means if you bring alladina utu al kitaba, those who um, were given the scripture, بِكُلِّ آيَةٍ If you bring them every ayah, every um, sign, مَا تَبِعُوا They will not follow from تَبِعَ قِبْلَتَكَ وَمَا أَنْتَ بِتَابِعٍ From تَبِعَ Again, you are not following their qibla, you will not follow their qibla. وَمَا بَعْضُهُمْ Some of them, or uh, they will not follow each other's qibla. They, تَابِعَ Again, from تَبِعَ do not follow each other's qibla. Wala in tabata, and if you follow from tabia ahwa ahum, that's their desires from hawaya. Min badi ma ja akamina lain. After what has come to you of this of uh, knowledge from alima, in naka ida lamina walimin. Then you are from the wrongdoers. Okay, so the next page. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him, that is the Prophet وسلم, as they know their own sons. But indeed, a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. So those who were given the scripture, الكتاب, so this is the second time of two that this is mentioned. And um, sometimes many people, when they're memorizing, they get mixed up which one is first. So remember that yatlunahu comes first. So الذين أتيناه الكتاب يتلونه حق تلاوته, and then يعرفونه comes second. And um, if you look at that alphabetically, so the ta of yatlunahu comes before the ayn of يعرفونه. So 
uh, that's the alphabetical order. So you would remember that this is the second position, يعرفونه, and يتلونه is the first one. You can also remember that through the meaning. So يتلونه uh, means to recite. So they recite it first, and then يعرفونه, then they know it after they've recited it. Uh, so that just helps you in memorizing. Those who were given the scripture, يعرفونه from عرفة means they recognize, they know, كما يعرفونه, just like they know their own children, أبناءهم. They know the Prophet ﷺ. وَإِنَّ فَرِيقًا مِنْهُمْ فَرِيقًا is from فرقة, that's a group. From them, لَيَكْتُمُونَ from كَتَمَ is to conceal. الحق, that is the truth. وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ while they know. The truth is from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. الحق is the truth. مِنْ رَبِّكَ from your Lord. So do not be from al mumtarin that's from uh, Maraya. Min al mumtarin means the doubters. So this ayah here is identical to an ayah in Surah Al-Imran, only that there is one difference here. The other one says, فَلَا تَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ This one is, فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ And this uh, noon with shadda is for emphasis. So remember this quarter is talking about a topic that ha was very controversial, very important topic. So you will see some um, unique words that match this emphasis that Allah is making on uh, this topic and its importance. So remember, فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ is in Al-Baqarah. For each religious following is a prayer direction toward which it faces. So race to all that is good, wherever you may be. Allah will bring you forth for judgment altogether. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. So, walikullin, that means for everyone. So, kull is every, but kullin, when you just say kullin, means everyone. Wijahatun. That's um, from, again, wajh is a face, and wajh is a direction. So the direction that you, toward which you face. Huwa from walaya. That means uh, turn towards. Fastabiqu, from sabaqa. That means um, to race. So that's, that's where Allah wants us to be uh, competitive, to race towards doing good things, not to be racing towards um, money or anything that is related, that is worldly, basically. al khayrat as from khayra, means good. Aynama takunu, wherever you are. Ayna, aynama, so wherever. Yati, from ataya, means to bring. So Allah will bring you. Yati bikumullahu jami'an. Allah will bring you all. Jamian from jama'a, mean uh, gathering or to or collectively. Inna Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir. Allah is over all things competent. That's from qadara, means to be capable or competent. So from wherever you go out for prayer, O Muhammad, turn your face toward al-Masjid al-Haram. And indeed, it is the truth from your Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. So, min haythu, from wherever, kharajita, from kharaja means to go out. So that's the first time of two. And this is the second time here, min haythu kharajita. So this is one out of two, and this is two out of two here. Fawalli means turn. Wajahaka shatr al masjid al haram, we've already explained this. Wa innahu, it is the truth, al al haqqu. The truth from your Lord, Mir Rabbika. That's the fifth time that this is mentioned. So remember, one of them was Amma Ya'malun, which is in the, one in the uh, previous page, page 22. And from wherever you go out for prayer, turn your face toward the Masjid al Haram. And wherever you believers may be, turn your faces toward it in order that the people will not have any argument against you, except for those of them who commit wrong. So fear them not, but fear me. And it is so I may complete my favor upon you, and that you may be guided. So that part is the same. And then, وَحَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُمْ Wherever you believers are, that's talking to a group of people. فَوَلُّوا so turn from walaya wujuhakum shatra your faces towards that towards the masjid al-haram li alla yakuna lin nasi so that li alla means so that not so that they won't have 
عليكم حجة حجة means argument إلا الذين ظلموا منهم فلا تخشوهم وخشوني so do not fear them except those who um, have committed wrong so فلا تخشوهم from خشية means do not fear them وخشوني and this a here this word here is unique this is the only وخشوني with a in the end there's other positions in the Quran where it's just وخشون with a noon with a kasra and again, just for the emphasis on this topic, just more um, emphasis here in this yet. Wali utimma from tamama means to complete. Uh, my favor, ni'mati from na'ama uh, means my favor. Alaykum over you or upon you. Wala alakum so that you may be guided. Tahtadun from hadaya. So whether it is a matter of worship, of earning a lawful income, or speaking the truth, fearing Allah is what saves a person. Just as we have sent among you a messenger from yourselves, reciting to you our verses, and purifying you, and teaching you the book and wisdom, and teaching you that which you did not know. So Allah here uh, talks to us about his na'mah on us, like his favor. So, kama arsalna from Rasala, like we sent to you, Rasulan, a messenger from you, yatlu alaykum. So, um, what did the messenger do? He recited yatlu from talaya, yatlu alaykum ayatina, to recite the verses. Wa yuzakikum from zakaya. So, remember, yuzakikum here comes first um, in the ruba of wa idhi tala, it came after wa yuallimukum, wa yuallimuhum. Here, وَيُعَلِّمُكُمْ from alama, uh, so it means to teach, الكتابة, the book or scripture, والحكمة from حكمة, that's wisdom, وَيُعَلِّمُكُمْ and to teach you ما لم تكونوا تعلمون, what you have not known, that which you did not know. So remember me, I will remember you, and be grateful to me, and do not deny me. فَذْكُرُونِي from ذكرة, means um, remember, remembrance from dhikr. Al-Qurkum, and I will remember you. Washkuru li, and be grateful to me. Wala takfurun, do not deny me from kafara. So remember that dhikr or remembrance of Allah is a source of strength. So we can face the difficulties of life. And also that the way we remember Allah is the way he remembers us. O oh, you ha who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, so that's from amana, means to believe. Istainu, find help. So, alif sin ta in the beginning of a word means to seek that thing. So, seek aun or seek help from awana. Bis sabri, that's sabara, means patience. Wa salah. Salaya, that's prayer. Inna Allaha ma'a sabirin. Allah is with the patient from sabara. And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, they are dead. Rather, they are alive, but you perceive it not. So one of the most difficult tribulations of life is the loss of a loved one. So here Allah tells us that we can find help and strength in patience and prayer, and that Allah is with the patient people. Patience can be achieved when we start thinking positively. So the Qur'an is making us think of death and this tri tribulation of the loss of a loved one, not as the end of life, but as the beginning of a new life. This change of perspective and seeking help in the remembrance of Allah and prayer are what make sabr or patience possible. وَلَا تَقُولُوا Do not say from قَوَلَ لِمَنْ يُقْتَلْ From قَتَلَ means killed. فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ In the path from سَبَلَ That's path or in the way of Allah. So to die in a good cause, that's what it means. فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ From مَوَاتَ That's death. Don't say about them that they are dead. بَلْ أَحْيَاء So they are alive. From حَيَيَا means to uh, to be alive or to bring to life. وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ You perceive that not from شَعْرَ to perceive. 
and we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits. But give good tidings to the patient. from balaya means to test or to try. Bishayin with something from shaya'a min al khawfi from khawafa that's fear. Wal jur from jawa'a that's hunger. Wanaqs that's um, loss. From naqasa means to uh, decrease. Min al amwal that's money or wealth. Wal anfus from nafs that's lives that's plural of nafs. Wal thamarat from thamara that's fruits. وبشر give glad tidings from بشرة or بشرة الصابرين from صبرة that's patient who when disaster strikes them say indeed we belong to Allah and indeed to him we will return الذين إذا أصابتهم from, uh, means to strike them when disaster strike them مصيبة from صوبة both words أصابة and مصيبة means when a uh, disaster strikes them, قالوا, they say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. means we belong to Allah, we are to Allah, and to him we shall return, from raja'a means to go back to him, we will return. So then Allah reminds us that each person will be tested in at least one of these five ways. Could be um, fear, could be hunger, a loss of wealth, loss of lives, loss of fruits. So fruits means, um, so could mean uh, any outcome of something that someone has worked on for a while. Uh, and so give, give glad tidings to the patient people. This is part of this world. This tribulation in at least one of these five ways is part of this life. Imagine parents who raise a child and invest so much in raising him and educating him. And then as a young man, death takes him away. Now this son, this soul belongs to Allah and he took it back. So it does not make sense to be angry with the decree of Allah or to say inappropriate things even though it is a difficult time. This is a tribulation from Allah and the proper words to say are indeed we belong to Allah and indeed to him we will return to understand that we belong to him and that soul that he took back also belongs to him. Those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy. And it is those who are the rightly guided. Ula'ika, those upon them, alayhim, salawatun, that's blessings from salaya, also the same word for prayers. Mir rabbihim wa rahma from their Lord. And Rahma from Rahima, that's mercy, wa ula'ika, and those are al muhtadun, the rightly guided from Hadaya. So, having patience and keeping a good attitude towards Allah's decrees are the key to passing difficult tests, growing into a better person, and attaining the pleasure of Allah. This patience is what helps one see the difficult event in context and see the big picture. This world is not everything. This person is gone and we too will be gone. This patience is also a reason to attain Allah's compensation in this world as well. So maybe you lost something you love, but Allah will give you something better in this world. A beautiful story of patience and good attitude during difficult tribulations is that of Hajar, which we will talk about in the next quarter, inshallah. So this is what you will find in the PDF in the description of this video. You will see uh, the unique ayah is uh, the ayah that has the word wahshawni because it's wahshawn in other other positions in the Quran, Surah Al-Ma'idah. And wa Allahu bi'ghafin amma ta'amalun. That's five times one of them is ya'malun, and two of them are in this quarter. Wala ini tabata ahwa ahum. You will see two of them. One of them is min ba'di ma. And the other one is ba'da alladhi. You can remember that the first one has fewer words, only ba'da alladhi. And the second one has min ba'di ma, three words, okay? So two and then three. So the first and then second. Alladhina ataynahu mulkitab, yatlunahu comes first, and then ya'rifunahu is the second position. 
and then فولي ومن حيث خرجت فولي وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام that's the beginning of two ayahs and فولي وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام is mentioned three times 